Now at five, breaking news. Scary moments as a driver slams into a home with a family inside. The dangerous crash that turned into a suspect search. Plus. I said, I don't know. I don't know, Daddy. The house blew up and, and Juliana's dead. Little girl's father speaking out after his daughter survived a freak accident at their home. The investigation on a lifesaver in the right place at the right time. Shannon, it's not raining. It will be showery tomorrow evening, though. We'll talk about more dry days than wet in the near term. That sounds good. And COVID concerns on the Cape after a sudden spike in infections from people fully vaccinated. That's all happening right now on the News at 5. But first, we are following a breaking story. Right now, police are investigating after a car hit a house in Arlington. A family was inside when this happened. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Shannon Miller. That crash also sparked a search after a man in the car took off. Let's get right out to NBC10's Brian Burnell. He's live in Arlington with the latest on this, Brian. A lot of details there, Shannon, but not the weirdest part. The car apparently rolled down a hill over here, crashed into this house behind me, and the bizarre part, no one was driving. A driverless car crashes into this home in Arlington. It happened around 2.30 this afternoon on Lublin Street. There's nobody driving it, and then a big bang. A mom, dad, and two kids inside the home when it happened. Mom heard it and came out. I was terrified because my husband's working in the basement that he was going to be injured. I came outside, there was somebody in the passenger seat, minimally responsive. Her husband approached the person in the car to see if they were okay. Somebody in the passenger seat that was uh, seemed sleeping or under some sort of influence, uh, then get consciousness and ran out of the car, and that's when we called the cops. Police say the man showed a knife before running off. They arrested him a short time later and say he was impaired. We're very responsive. We're here on the scene very quickly. Very thankful for that. I guess you can say you don't see that every day. Yeah, that's certainly true. So it appears what may have happened is the person in the passenger seat accidentally knocked the car into neutral. It rolled down the hill and hit the house. But after they captured that man, police also did another search looking for a potentially second suspect. They didn't turn anything up. So it looks like the man they have in custody is the only one involved in this. Live in Arlington, Brian Burnell, NBC10 Boston. Very bizarre. Brian, thank you. Right now, a young girl is recovering in the hospital, seriously injured after a car crashed into her New Hampshire home. Police say speed and alcohol were both factors in the crash. And now we're hearing from the girl's father and the man who may have saved her life. NBC10's Alicia Palumbo joins us live from Salem, New Hampshire, with this incredible story, Alicia. Yeah, it just is absolutely incredible. That girl could even be released from the hospital as early as tonight. Investigators telling us you can tell just how fast this car was going by the sheer force that it struck that hill before actually crashing into the home that had those children playing inside. 